Hey everyone and welcome back to All Things Nuclear with Diana. Today we're tackling some of the biggest myths about nuclear energy. The ones you hear all the time but may not realize are totally misleading. Does nuclear energy cause cancer? Are nuclear power plants just sticking time bombs? And what's the deal with nuclear waste? Stick around because I'm breaking down the top 5 myths about nuclear energy. And trust me, the truth might surprise you. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the notification bell for more nuclear facts, interviews and deep dives. Myth number one, nuclear power plants are dangerous. Let's start with the big one. A nuclear power plant is basically a disaster waiting to happen. Reality check. Nuclear power plants are actually among the safest energy sources in the world. They are designed with multiple safety layers and modern reactors have advanced safety systems that shut them down automatically in case of emergencies. Think of a nuclear power plant like a high-tech pressure cooker, but with multiple backup systems to make sure nothing ever goes wrong. Here are some of the key safety systems that keep everything in check. Number one is automatic shutdown system or reactor scram. Imagine driving a car that automatically slams on the brakes the second it detects danger. That's what a nuclear reactor does if something goes wrong. If sensors detect anything unusual, like too much heat or pressure, it instantly shuts itself down by dropping control rods, which act like emergency brake, stopping the reaction in seconds. Next is containment buildings, this giant safety box. Every reactor is inside a huge reinforced concrete and steel dome. It's designed to be so strong that even if something fails inside, radiation stays locked in. This is like putting a fire inside a super secure safe. Nothing gets out. Number three, passive cooling systems, where no electricity needed. Older nuclear plants needed electricity to pump water and cool the reactor. But modern reactors are designed to cool themselves even if power is lost. They use gravity, natural circulation and heat pipes to keep everything under control. Like an emergency water tank that automatically pours in cooling water if needed. Number four, backup power, which means multiple layers of electricity. If the main power goes out, like in a storm or earthquake, nuclear plants have huge diesel generators that instantly turn on. And if those fail, there are batteries that can keep cooling systems running until power is restored. And last but not least, human monitoring and AI systems. Nuclear plants are monitored 24-7 by highly trained operators and automated systems. If anything seems off, alarms go off and action is taken immediately. Some modern reactors will even use AI and machine learning to predict issues before they happen. Myth number two, nuclear energy causes cancer. But wait, doesn't radiation from nuclear plants cause cancer? Okay, let's get one thing straight. Nuclear power plants do not blast out dangerous radiation like some people think. In fact, if you're munching on a banana while watching this, you're actually getting more radiation than if you were straight right outside a nuclear plant. Sounds crazy, right? Let's break it down. So wait, bananas are radioactive? Yep, bananas contain potassium-40, a natural radioactive isotope. But don't panic, your body is totally used to handling small amounts of radiation from food, the sun, and even the Earth itself. Here is the fun fact. Scientists actually use a unit called the banana equivalent dose, or BED, to explain small amounts of radiation. So one banana equals around 0.1 microsieverts of radiation. 
Standing near a nuclear power plant for a whole year is around 0.09 microsieverts. And yes, less than a banana. One chest X-ray is 100 microsieverts, which is 1,000 bananas. A flight from New York to London, 250 microsieverts. And yes, that's right, 2,500 bananas. An annual radiation just from Earth's natural background is around 2,400 microsieverts, which equals to 24,000 bananas. So unless you're eating tens of thousands of bananas in one sitting, and please don't, the radiation you get from a nuclear plant is laughably small. And what about people who work in nuclear power plants? That's a good question. The people who work in nuclear power plants every day aren't getting dangerous levels of radiation either. Studies on workers and nearby residents show no increased cancer risk. In fact, nuclear plant workers receive less radiation than people who work as airline pilots, because flying exposes you to more cosmic radiation from space. Average nuclear worker exposure per year equals to 1,600 microsieverts, which is 16,000 bananas. Annual radiation dose for an airline pilot is roughly from 3,000 to 6,000 microsieverts. Yep, you guessed it right, which is around 30,000 bananas or 60,000 bananas. Incredible. So if radiation was really that dangerous at these levels, we'd be banning long-haul flights, not nuclear power. Now, who's up for a snack? Just don't eat 24,000 bananas in one go. That's way more dangerous than nuclear energy. Myth number three, nuclear energy creates tons of dangerous waste. But what about the waste? Isn't it this huge and solvable problem? Spoiler alert, it's really not. Let's put things into perspective. How much nuclear waste are we actually talking about? When people hear nuclear waste, they imagine giant glowing green barrels stacked to the sky, oozing radioactive sludge like in The Simpsons. But in reality, the total amount of spent nuclear fuel produced in the US over the last 60 years could fit inside a single football field stacked about 10 meters high. That's all the nuclear waste from every single reactor in the country, ever. Meanwhile, coal plants dump 1 billion tons of toxic waste into the air every year, which you and I breathe in daily. And no, there is no secure storage for that. So when people ask, but what about nuclear waste? I like to ask, but what about coal waste? Because only one of them is safely contained. Myth number four, nuclear energy is too expensive. How many times I heard or read nuclear energy is way too expensive, renewables are cheaper. Okay, let's break this one down, because there is more to the story than sticker shock. Yes, building a nuclear plant is like paying for a luxury power source up front, and we're talking billions. But once it's up and running, that plant becomes an energy-generating blast. It works 24-7, rain or shine, for 60 to 80 years. Now let's talk numbers. This chart shows the levelized cost of electricity, basically the average cost to produce one megawatt per hour of electricity over a plant's lifetime. Here we've got onshore wind and utility-scale solar come in around $40 to $45 per megawatt per hour. That's pretty good, but remember, they only work when the wind is blowing or the sun is shining, so you need backups. Now, here is where it gets juicy, existing nuclear plants. They're already built, already running, and their power costs around $33 bucks per megawatt per hour. That's even cheaper than solar or wind. But yes, building a new nuclear plant is still pricey. You're looking at somewhere between $90 to $120 per megawatt per hour. But let's remember that these plants run 24-7, last up to 80 years, and don't rely on sunshine or wind. Natural gas? Around $70, but it comes with CO2 emissions and price volatility. And coal? 
yikes, around $110 per megawatt per hour, and it's one of the dirtiest sources out there. So here is the simpler way to understand this. Old nuclear equal cheapest and cleanest. New nuclear equal more expensive at first, but crazy reliable. Wind and solar equal great, but need support. Gas and coal, dirty and on the way out. That's why so many experts say we need nuclear plus renewables working together if we want clean, reliable, affordable power. Myth number five. Nuclear radiation will turn you into a mutant. Okay, are we living in a comic book now? Unless you're planning to swim in a spent fuel pool, which, by the way, is perfectly safe from above, you're not growing an extra arm anytime soon. Radiation is all around us, from bananas, airplane flights, even your granite countertop. Getting close to a nuclear plant won't give you superpowers. Sorry, Marvel fans. So there you have it. Five of the biggest myths about nuclear energy busted. If you learned something new, hit that like button and subscribe for more nuclear facts, interviews, and deep dives. And let me know in the comments which nuclear myth do you hear the most. Let's set the record straight together. Thanks for watching All Things Nuclear with Diana. See you next time.